conversion on. Captain Goodwin, tell us how this all came about for the Houston Pilots and why. Well, historically we looked for how we could contribute to not only industry, uh, but ourselves and especially our community. And we looked at different aspects uh, and we were approached, or actually we approached the uh, San Jacinto Junior College to develop a, a local maritime program and we saw the need for this uh, simulator, uh, not only for their educational purposes, but to advance the maritime industry in our community and also contribute to our industry partners and partnerships in developing docks, uh, channel widths, uh, like current studies that we're working on right now, uh, improvements like the improvement of the Bayport Flare, uh, and we're, we're able to utilize the simulators to uh, quantify and show that these a particular type vessel can move in and out of the waterway safely. Well, describe what you have here. Uh, currently we have here, we have a full simulation uh, bridge simulator. Uh, it's made by uh, Consberg, um, and we have uh, three different stations where we can actually uh, have three manned vessels, uh, whether that would be tugboats, full-size ships, uh, ship, 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 or three tugboats, and we're able to uh, operate those vessels in any weather conditions. Fog, rain, clear skies, current, wind. Uh, we're able to change the configuration of the bridges to meet a inland tow, which is uh, steered by handles, or the conventional uh, helmsman, like on a ship, or uh, utilize Z-drives uh, on tractor tugs that we have in the port. So we've made it to where it will fit all the needs of the Port of Houston, what what we currently have and reach into the future. Um, there it's a, it's a system that can be developed, improved, and, and work in every aspect from education to the actual use and development of uh, docks, development of channels, and development and increasing development of our own skill set. Yeah. We as Houston pilots come in here and utilize this to have our continuing education in emergency ship handling, uh, uh, use of radar, use of uh, all of our navigation equipment in, in uh, unfavorable weather such as fog, rain, uh, lower visibilities to be able to hold it, just uh, make it safe on the channel. Was that right, Tom? I'm imagining that all the pilots run through here, and about how often do they come through this facility? Uh, they they all come through this facility uh, at different times and different courses that are that are offered. Uh, we have uh, a, a a long laundry list of continuing education that we do do, and there's probably a pilot on average in this facility. Uh, at least every every week of the year. Wow. And you're involved with the uh, MPI, the Maritime Pilots Institute. What is their involvement? Their involvement is we use their expertise in development development of ship models, uh, their understanding of hydrodynamics uh, through their partnership with Corps Engineers and, and their simulator work, and uh, they're able to coordinate all those efforts, and they bring us in as the professionals to uh, to validate different things they develop, such as the 216 study that we're doing now. We are validating the vessels and how they would maneuver in a larger, deeper channel, and uh, whether, whether or not it's viable or not viable. And we're, we use them, they are a piece as well as we're a piece in the studies.
Um, we also use their curriculum in a lot of their, uh, in our continuing ed, emergency ship handling, bridge resource management, and different stuff like that. Looking ahead down the road, mm -hmm. where do you see this program going? Looking down the road, I, I see it expanding. Uh, currently, uh, we have uh, a, a great relationship with some HISD uh, inner city high schools that have a maritime program that feed into San Jack uh, on down the road as that that gets larger and, and more well known we are just we are just increasing the qualified mariner that we see out on the channel and qualified mariner equals more safety more productivity and overall a better uh, lifestyle for everybody up and down the uh, maritime industry, whether it's uh, shoreside or waterborne. Great story, huh? Yeah, it is. Thank you, Tom. You bet. Back to work. Back to work.